hi guys welcome back to my channel for this tutorial today we are going to be learning how to make a pyjama stop it's very simple and easy to learn so if this is what you seem interested in please stay tuned until the end of this tutorial now we are going to be making use of this pink fabric for our bias strip and we are going to be making use of the black satin for our actual fabric for this tutorial now i've bring in my brown paper and this is what we are going to be using to draft out our pattern because we don't want to draft on fabric and we are going to be making use of the upper part as the starting line and then the sides towards where i am standing right now is going to serve as the center back so we are going to first of all draft out the back so for this back from the shoulder line we are going to have to place our tape and then measure the bust points which is 10 inches then from the bust point you are going to go down to the waist okay so i made use of 16 inches for this and then the length of this top i'm going to be making use of 25 inches now after that i'm going to go ahead and mark out the same thing on this other side so that i'll be able to square up my lines properly well now after this you have to use your long ruler and square the lines okay so make sure that your line are properly connected Now, once you are done with that, what you are going to do next is to input your shoulder divided by 2. So, my shoulder is 16 inches divided by 2. I have 8 inches. Now, from the bust point, you are going to have to go up by 2 inches. And this would be your chest line. And then you go ahead and rule out the chest line. And what you're going to do next is to make sure that you also have 8 inches down here from the folded part that is the center back. You're going to have to also mark out 8 inches which is for the shoulder. So that will help you connect your armhole depth properly well, okay? So from there... You're going to have to come down by one inch for your shoulder slope and then we move over to the neckline okay so for the back neckline i'm going to be making use of three inches by one inch depth and you go ahead and connect the lines now go ahead and connect your shoulder slope into the neckline and then what you are going to do next is to input your bust circumference divided by four plus half an inch for armhole ease because i like inserting ease around my armhole and from there you go down to the waist divide your waist circumference by four also also go down to the hip and divide your hip circumference by four now once you are done with that because this is a picture mask and we need it to be kind of very free so i'm going to input two inches for ease allowance and then after that you input one inch for sewing allowance so once you get all these measurements properly go ahead and connect all the shapes together so you can see what we have right now now from here the next step is for us to go ahead and connect our armhole okay so 
that would be basically it for the back so this is our back pattern what i'm going to do next is to go ahead and cut it out guys remember that i haven't added any form of sewing allowance to the shoulder so i'll go ahead and do that once i want to cut on my fabric okay So this is the back we are going to go over and draft out the front so i'm going to use my marker now and label this my back pattern now what i'm going to do next we have to pay very good attention to the front pattern because the front pattern is the focus for today's tutorial so you should pay good attention to that so what we are going to do you can see i've brought in another fresh pattern paper so i'm going to go ahead and mark out two inches from the center front okay so after i mark these two inches out because the front is going to have like a lapel okay so after i mark it out i'm going to go ahead and use my ruler and connect this properly well before i place my back pattern so you can see and once you place your back pattern you're going to have to use your pins to hold this in place so you can see what i'm doing right now Use your pins and hold it properly well, making sure that the back pattern is directly after the 2 inches line that you made. Now that I have this placed correctly, we are going to have to start drafting the front pattern. So the first thing I'm going to do is to go ahead and mark out my shoulder line just as you can see me doing like this. This is just for me to have a guide to it and from there using my paper scissors I'm going to cut out exactly what I have on the back pattern. So once you are done cutting it out, you are going to have to remove the SS brown paper and then also remove your pins. So once I'm done removing my pins, I'm going to take away the back pattern and then label these the front. Now you are going to have to start modifying this okay so what you are going to do first is to measure out your front neckline so for the front neck depth i'm going to make use of 1.5 inches because i don't want my neck to be very deep this type of top is not supposed to be having a very deep neck depth okay so you are going to have to measure out 1.5 inches for the depth and then you are going to have to extend this line to the center front so once you are done with this the next step is for you to determine how deep you want your lapel that is the breaking point where you actually want the lapel to start from so for me from that 1.5 inches depth i'm going to go down to 7 inches and then from the 1.5 inches depth also i'm going to go out by 2 inches and then using my curve ruler i'm going to curve it out like this you can see that i didn't connect it straight i went ahead to 
curve it out and you guys that would be all for the front pattern so what i'm going to do is to go ahead and then cut out my front pattern okay so you can see how i'm cutting this out very easy and simple so once you glue your eye to this screen you're going to understand properly well what i did right here okay so this is my front pattern we are done the next step is for us to go ahead and cut this out on our fabric okay so i'm going to bring in the front and the back so that you people can have a look at what we have here you can see i have my front and i have my back so now what i'm going to do is to go ahead and bring in my fabric and we are going to cut on fabric now to cut on your fabric you are going to have to insert half inch allowance to the center front half inch allowance to the shoulder okay half inch allowance to the neckline and half inch allowance to the armhole okay and then you are going to also insert one inch for your hemming allowance at the down part okay so now that i've explained how to cut this out go ahead and use your pins to hold down on your fabric just to make sure that this is not going to be moving around while you cut on your fabric okay once you are done pinning this down and you are ready to cut on your fabric first thing you should do is like i explained few minutes ago is to add up half an inch sewing allowance all around this your pattern okay and then heading over to the damp part that is the hem you are going to insert one inch for hemming allowance where you shouldn't add up allowance right now is just the side seam which you have already input on your pattern all right now let's go ahead and quickly cut this out so like i told you previously i'm adding half inch allowances on every part of this aside the side seam allowance which i've added already so now this is the front okay you can see that the side seam i didn't add any allowance so i'm going to bring in another fabric and then pin up my pattern paper on top and then we quickly cut this out as well so the same thing goes to the back you are going to have to leave half an inch all around and then going to the down part you are going to have to leave one inch and you guys when you are cutting out the back please don't forget that the back center is on fold okay so now that i'm done cutting the front and the back this is what we have and i'm trying to remove the pins so once i'm done removing the pins what i'm going to do is to use my chalk to note the wrong part so i'm trying to differentiate the front from the back although this um fabric is very easy to note the front from the back but i'm trying to do that in case if you are using a fabric that has the front and the back looking alike so after that we are going to quickly cut out our facing okay so what i'm trying to do right now is to have a straight line now once you are done cutting out a straight line you're going to have to place your fabric and then making sure that the center front is towards the side unfold okay and then i'm going to have to from the shoulder 
measure about three inches inward and then begin to cut out my facing okay so you can see what i'm doing right now so basically this facing is like about eight inches wide okay so this is the facing this is what i should have and i went ahead to also note the front and the back now for the back facing this is very easy to achieve so what you are going to do is to bring in your back and this time is going to be on fold okay so your fabric is going to be on fold and first of all you have to cut out the neckline and then also cut out the shoulder okay so i'm going to make sure that the shoulder of the front and that of the back facing is equal now for the depth i'm going to go down by 3.5 inches that is what i have it depends on what you want to use if you want to make use of four inches it's your preference so i'll go ahead and mark out 3.5 inches all around can you see what i'm doing and then i will cut this out and here is our facing okay so you guys um this video is already getting too long so let's quickly end this tutorial right here subscribe if you haven't done yet and stay tuned for the sewing part of this video bye